Led Zeppelin's Over the Hills and Far Away. First off, I just want to tell you, I'm only going to take you to this part. That part. Um, everything after that, the solo, all that, um, just we're not going to go there. But the beginning, the intro, uh, leading up to that, that'll give you plenty to do. Um, if you are a uh, beginner, you could probably do this um, if you follow along. So uh, this song is more for people who have been playing for a while, but let me just show you how to do it. All right, uh, close, up, close up here on my uh, fretboard. You put, you're gonna start with your first finger on the second fret. So it's, well, it starts with a hammer on. You're playing G string open, hammer on, pull off on the second fret. Fourth finger or third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, so it's picking that, uh, and then you're doing a pull off on the fourth string, so it's like that. Let me show you how I'm picking it. Pick once and I pick upward on the D string. And then I let go, doing a pull off on the D string, fourth string. So I'm picking once and once here. And then on a downstroke, pick the open G string. What I tend to do after I just played this, that, I go into a G chord with my third finger up top here, fourth finger down here, and that's it. Um, you can also do the second finger here if you want, but um, I, I, I would just stick to those two, either that or that. All right, so after that, I'll do a close-up. You're going to do... Okay, so it's... Hammer on, pull off, pick once on the open G. Pick once on the D string, open G again, and here you go to the second to the fourth fret on the on the G string here. Uh, hammer on with a pull off, so you pick it one time, and then on the upstroke, open D string. So let me show you how I pick that. It's going to go. This is something you want to remember. The last note that you pick or play, so the last note was the D open, that's the next chord that you're going to do. So if the, the before when we went and played the open G string, then I played the G chord. And now I play the D string open and I go to a D chord then back to what I just showed you before. Now, um, and timing is everything, so you're gonna, like, you're, you're gonna watch how many times you strum because you need it to fit into uh, the meter here. So it's... So the D chord, you get you give it like two strums. The G chord, you're gonna give it more like three. So let me play it back for you. Now the uh, the little turnover part here. This is what you're gonna do. Sorry for the camera work here, but that's what I got. What you're gonna do is first finger on the second mm -hmm. fret. So everything, like I usually teach everybody to stay in the first position for notes up here, and you usually do. But it, for this song in particular, you're gonna move everything up a fret. So this is basically your first position. Anyway, um, for this part, you're doing a, uh, you're barring on the A and the D string on the second fret with your first finger. So you're gonna go, you 
you're picking down, up, down on the A, D, A string, second fret. And you do a hammer on, play it open, and then you pick it one more time. So, like that. So it's from the beginning. And now this is a little strange because you do the you open the, you're playing the last note open D but you're going into the G chord. Now from here that part where it turns over again and it goes All right so I'll start from the beginning again. I'll try to do it slow. G. D. Start over. G. D. And then from here, you're doing a hammer on pull off on the open G and to the to the second fret pick upward on the D string and I'm saying pick upward because it's easier you're gonna find it um, much easier when you're going down on the string below it and up so you can see my hand like that so open D so fourth fret third string on the D string to the open D, middle finger on the C note, which is third fret A string, third finger below it on the uh, third fret B string. Keep this string, the E string up top, six string muted. You're just playing the uh, bass note here. And then try to play all the strings under it, even that open E string. So middle finger on the C, third fret, first finger on the B, second fret, A string. Stretch out first finger on the B flat, first string, or first fret, um, A string. Give it like one, two, three, four, like a couple strums, three or four strums slide up and it's really cool if you can hear that slide to the third fret start over So that turnover part, where you would before go. So the second time now, you're gonna go. And it's some fancy uh, strum work here, what you're doing. You're doing like a uh, second finger on the third fret here, A string. Strum down, up, like that. And I pick the uh, third fret six string up because it gives it that special sound, you know. Um, and I'm stopping it like want to like a percussive kind of bump bump. So it's like that. Not okay. It doesn't ring out. It just goes. So then it's so it's. After you do that, you're doing a pick once, hammer on, pull off, 
second fret A string, pick once, second fret D string, pull off, or pick it, whatever you want. And then to the D chord, see, see how your third finger's already here? This is why I like to choose this finger position for the chord. So I go right to the D chord and then I lift the middle finger. So I'm strum once, twice with the middle finger on the, uh, and you should know how to play a D chord. Look it up if you don't. Um, second fret, E string, down stroke, lift off the middle finger, strum upward. So you take that D chord then, one of the last things you do is ninth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, seventh fret. So I'm going, you start on the ninth, down to the seventh. So it's like a one to the seventh transition. Two down strums, two up strums on the ninth fret. If you can let that um, A string ring out, that'll sound fine with it. All right, so now for the heavy part. All right, so where we left off here, you were going to the ninth fret, seventh fret. Then. So what you're doing here, is you're going to the 10th fret uh, power chord. So what you got here is um, first finger on the uh, 10th fret, third finger on the 12th fret, okay? You can do just one, two, three fingers, if that's how you hold a power chord. And the way you strum this song is you're gonna go down, up on the same fret so it's so if you're doing a power chord i just do with this song i'm only focused on two fingers really so i'm going down up down up for the song you know down up so you're doing 10th fret power chord 10 and 12 the same thing just going up a string on the 10th fret so down up and when you do, hopefully you know how to do power chords, but if you don't, um, you're muting or just not playing these strings underneath. You're just playing those two strings here, and I mute the sixth string, top sixth string here, sixth string, uh, the E string. So when I, when I play it, you can't hear it. So down, up, down, up. And I let a little slide creep in there. You know, just a little to the so I went from 10 10 10 5 fifth fret that's the a power chord and now you can go you have two options here you can go third fret to the fifth fret and then back again uh, what I like to do is do like a combo of G, like an open G kind of, to the A. So I'll do second finger on the G top six string here, and I'll play dead in the A string, open D, open G, B string. And you do a little, um, you know, string percussion there, like a... All right, so it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5. Um, I'll teach you how I do it. I go to third fret, like I was showing you, G. So if you're using your middle finger, drop your first finger to the A 
chord. So I mute the E string, play A, second fret, barred on uh, D string, G string, B string. So, and before I get to the A chord, I'm doing. So I'm doing a that 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 that, killing the strings with my hand. G, A, G, G, all right, so look it back. Uh, if you have any other questions, maybe you can put them in the comments. I'll try to make it more specific for you. This lesson is mainly geared for people who have been playing for a while. Uh, hopefully you already know some of these chords. Um, but if you don't, maybe I can make an even simpler version for very new beginners. All right, have fun with that, guys.